Let's do this. Hmm. You know what? It might be, this might be the perfection strike run. Don't knock it. Don't knock it. it might be, this might be the perfection strike run. What's up, Juan Meister? Isaac and Albi. Isaac Einstein. Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein. Maybe we have a command for our dogs. Perfection strike run. Perfection strike run. It's, it's happening. Oh, shit. Are we doing it? Am I actually doing this? Did we take rage so we can just... Well, the problem here is we want enlightenment. Because we have two perfection strikes now. <laughs> just kind of took two... I'm taking this because there's 50% chance. We're out of the two out of... Two out of three chance to find triple century because I'm going for two elites, right? So it could be... Gremlin or Laga, and then from there's another... Triple, triple century or whatever. Let's do that. One second. Ooh. What's up, Reggie? How you doing, buddy? Perfected Strike. I'm gonna just go all in Perfected Strike and, and see what ha comes with it. Yeah. Or so we're going Agro Build and we have Me in the Bone, which helps us that. And also, yeah. Or we Kalkum would have been nice to have uh, to allow us to go really aggressive. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I mean, I can probably even be more aggressive here. I would say the best thing for this is like Enlightenment, right? I guess Thunderclap to kind of get the vulnerable for one. Blue Candle, that could be a Sapphire Key, but Blue Candle has potential. And upgrading Bash for more vulnerable uptime is pretty nice. Do we just go now? Let me wait for Bash first, and then we go. And now we go. We can do this for more vulnerable uptime, but now let's just go with this. Boom, boom, boom. Wow, we're so close to lethal. Can you believe it? Really? Two cost cards. The bane of my existence. I mean... Three energy, the bane of my existence. Get me in the bone, I guess it's worth. One fight hand is very nice. Close on for the weaken. I, th I think the weaken is actually. That's another two cost card. So this is like a waiting room. Yes, it's another two cost card, but I think it actually is pretty good. Alright, we'll go for meat again. Always the meat value. This is painful. So shock is very nice. <laughs> okay. Shockwave. Happy flower would be very nice. Oof. Me in the bone, baby. Every fight's me in the bone. Pendup is very good for this deck. Exhum could be... It's a curse right now, but maybe if I get Disarm or if I get, like, Impervious, then Exhum... I think a naked Exhum right now, despite the fact that it's cursed, I mean, it hits Shockwave and does give me Funeral Pain, so it's not super cursey. But I, there's a high ceiling for Exhum, and I think I might like it. Because there's things that I want, where, like, I would see Impervious or Disarm be a really good complement to this deck. I don't think Headblade is really good right now for me. Oh, perfect. Actually, a welcome fight for me. I mean, I guess the only thing that maybe I would have should have done Fire Pirate or something. 
it's not named, but it's not named Exhumed Strike. You know, you're not wrong about that. Yeah, me and the bone here. Yet again. Nice full block, baby. Nice full block. Easy peasy. And then perfect strike for the win. Or this. I mean, I'm actually extremely healthy. To my Much to my chagrin. I'm gonna go ahead and dig, I suppose? Yeah. Let's do it. Nice. That's really not that good with Perfection Strike. We'll get the bad stuff out of the way. We'll go for the weaken here, because it's gonna be a big attack. So let's do this. Unfortunate. Now, Perfection Strike is gonna be uh, Pendage, which is quite nice. So where we... In fact, I think I'm missing a full block here. I'm doing this because I want to maintain the pen nib. <laughs> so he's weakened for a long time. He has a lot of vulnerable, which I guess is very nice. It works quite well. I mean, I keep blocking when I should probably just be striking because I have enough life to maybe sustain this. I mean, I don't think we're ever going to be short on damage, but if I keep blocking, maybe we will be short on damage. When I could be going for pen nib, which is maybe vital to win this like you see how much i blocked i blocked so much that i think it might actually be okay luckily we have strong perfected strikes but that was closer than it needs to be so fiend fire bludgeon or reaper i guess the reaper is not bad with pen nib and also um like an aggro-ish deck we don't we have vajra it's just still aoe we don't really have aoe i'll take it we have also shockwave thunderclap so we take Choker. I mean, we want energy, despite any, more than anything. And Astrolab is really not that good because our targets for strikes would make our perfect strike worse. So this is kind of a deck that, like, let me use the bathroom. This is the kind of deck that we really love Snake away. And I think this runs out of steam. Like, I don't see how this is going to beat the heart, but we're going to try. What's up, Liz Bunts? Yeah, no Snake here, huh? All right. Uh, we, I think we can manage a couple of elites. I mean,. With the four energy, we double perfect strike on a turn, which is really powerful. So, and we also meet the bones. So let's go for three elites here. Although at the same time, we want to hit the shop because we want to find enlightenment. So then maybe we want to hit more than one shop, but then hitting one more than one shop. Okay, we'll take this back. Take this back for the shop. Oh god. Good start. Oh, okay. I mean, my, my philosophy here is if I s see it, I'm taking it. Like, if I see a perfect strike, I'm taking it. And, okay, maybe Apparition is not bad. And a deck that just wants to... Sh well, no, I think with me and the bone and stuff like that, Apparition is kind of awkward. What's up, Ari Serials? I mean... I don't like losing 50% of my max HP. Because then, without Apparition, then I'm just completely screwed. Because I don't have any block... Now, orange pellets doesn't do anything for me. These are all elegant things. Elegant, circumstantial, situational things that has no place in my smirk mentality of perfected strike, unfortunately. Like orange pellets can get rid of debuffs, which works with potions, and maybe I can get berserk and use this for berserk. Yo, just take care of Law. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. And a bottle piece of shit. Oh. Ship for more for more vulnerable. I mean, yeah, it's not bad. We have Shockwave. We also have um, Thunderclap. I think Trip is kind of like... I mean, normally I would remove a strike here. Normally I would remove strike. I mean, maybe I can afford to move a strike and then slowly replace some of the strike that I have with perfected strikes instead, right? So, like removing one strike is not too bad. 
We still have four, plus we have still four perfected strikes. But I think we run some problems when we try to do five strikes and then also four perfected strikes. Like, I don't know the science or the math or the logic or how to make this work, but I feel like it's an okay idea to remove one normal strike for a perfected strike. It seems like it might be an okay idea. So at least we still have some kind of ratio between block and attack. Or are we just foregoing block altogether? I feel like you can't forego block. It's just not going to work. And then what do we do about True Grit? Because then True Grit is kind of a similar situation. Where it's like... You True Grit a strike, but then it makes Perfect Strike worse. So yeah, maybe we, we just forego and block, I suppose. A Whirlwind for AoE, which is kind of nice for this... Uh, like Electro Fight, so we can do the Whirlwind Pendib. And we also have Vajra to make it a little bit better. So should I buy War 1 for this Electro Fight? Huh. I think we're moving Strike here. Gonna find another shop here. War 1 for this fight as well. Forgot to mention that. Let's see what this is. Hmm, that's A, we weaken. Which prevents damage right now. Trigger does reduce per so if, we, if you were to exhaust strikes in the, the fight, you are um yeah, you're getting rid of perfected strike damage. Maybe we don't mind this. Uh, I was thinking maybe do Reaper here. But maybe we... Yeah, let's do that. Let's keep Penib ready. Fire breathing. <laughs> That's... I mean, it's a power of Mummified Hands. I know we're joking about it, but like, this could be some AoE, right? It's free and it's Mummified Hands. But like, would we rather just not draw into it? Just like, not have fire breathing? Like on average, it's going to give me, like, what, two damage to all units? Is that two extra damage to all units? Which is kind of, if you think about it, it's like a budget hourglass. It's a budget hourglass that takes a slot in my deck, but also, I'm not sure gives me a free something. Right? And then maybe budget hourglass is something we want for Collector. Considering there's going to be AoE involved. A budget hourglass that takes a slot, and when I draw it and play it, I get something free on that turn. Am I unironically taking fire breathing here? I think so. Oh. The Necronomicon would really seal the archetype home. <laughs> Holy sh. Okay. Okay. I go, what? And which is so funny to me because like the game's gonna try we also have necronomicon with blue candle so the potential there with like funeral pain right so i can trade my life for funeral pain block with necronomicurs we just figured out how to get block necronomicurs blue candle is trading one life for four block we just hacked the system We just hacked the system. Like, this is ridiculous. I don't know how I make a deck like this, and I end up getting Necronomicers. It just all comes together sometimes. And Fire Breathing actually finishes off this poor little fellow. Oh my.
Okay, headbutt? No. It's 1 HP for 1 block against the card. Oh, oh, it doesn't, doesn't it technically exhaust and then come back? Did I, do I, me do I remember that incorrectly? I'm pretty sure it exhausts and then comes back. We can test it. We can test it. Uh, I mean, not right now. Oh, against the hearts. Oh, well, we'll worry about the heart when we get there. He's begging me to win. You're not wrong. Yeah, if you shrug it off, it's fine, right? One shrug it off is fine. Like, we're not completely neglecting block. I mean, enlightenment would be very, very nice, though. But again, the heart. What are we doing against the heart? I know, I just missed dual wield, you're right. This is one of those times where I actually think uh, Struck It Off is better than Dual Wield, regardless of the whole archetype, right? So Fire Breathe, I mean, Burning Pact, again, we make sure Burning Pact, it makes our Perfect Strike worse, and then it potentially gives us, nah, I think we don't want Burning Pact. Darkstone? This could be a Sapphire Key, I would say. But Max HP is also really nice, because, uh, we don't really have a lot of block. We just wanted to use our face to block. So Darkstone. Just a blue candle as well. I mean, how reasonably... How, might, how often am I taking curses? I'm not, like, actively seeking them out. This seems like a pretty safe Sapphire key. Oh, speaking of Darkstone Perry apps, this would have been a nice time to do it, right? Oh, well. We got a big Reaper here. I really want to do like Perfection Strike twice and then Perfection Strike one more time. Okay, we want to block a little bit, right? Do I kill the minions? Or do I go face? We go face. Why is that even a question? We do want to do Shockwave Double Reaper though. Okay, I was going to do Double Reaper, but... Ended up killing too much. So Double Reaper does do 14 damage, and then this guy. Okay. I could just kill him now. So maybe what I do is like stack up Pendant first. Or what if I do Thunderclap Strike and then Double Reaper? To get a little bit more out of it. And then forgo killing him this turn. But I'm taking 24. Get me in the bone. What am I talking about? Reaper's not important. Preservance is great. Offering seems good. Offering seems good. I mean, I might be scared to use it though. But if we do end up getting dual wield, then it could be kind of nice. Let's take the offering. Okay, lots of gold, like it. Small little guy, I like it. So we, we, we trade one life for two block, okay. Oh, choker. I forgot about choker and offering. Uh, why did no one remind me? Jesus. Red skull, not bad. Not that useful though. You're out of here, man. Take care, Captain Toad. I know. It's been nine hours to slay this bar. It's because I haven't done slay this bar in some time, so. So, if I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna come back strong. I, I wonder if I take Whirlwind at the end of. Like, anyways, right? Whirlwind for the AoE in this fight. I also have Necronomicon, so it's 
kind of not that bad. It's dig. Oof. Well, I guess it's not bad for an aggro deck. Reaper now. Now we can get better Reaper. Smork, smork, smork. Smork, smork, smork. So, Berserk. We talked about Berserk, but then we just realized we have Choker, so it actually doesn't help that much. And Double Tap, I don't think it helps that much. It's just probably awkward. Okay, so the dream now is we take... We take a runic pyramid, right? We find enlightenment. And then we make all of our stuff one cost. But then it does make Necronomicon, Necronomicon worse. But we can easily do like 200 damage a turn. I don't see what else we could do. I mean, runic pyramid. Okay, maybe I don't mind collecting perfection strikes and then using like two of them a turn. I can see my hand being clogs because I have so many expensive cards. There's no way I can play all of them. The deck's gonna die of the heart, yeah. I suppose we could do Runa Cube, right? So this is the kind of deck that would like steamroll, maybe Act 2, maybe even Act 3, and then gets to the heart and just doesn't have the tools. We need it significantly. Rather, it very badly needs like Tori Disarm and some other crazy stuff. Insert Burner. I can use Runic Cube with Blue Candle to make Necronomicon's card draw. You're not wrong. That's a weird... It's been a while since I've had this one. I have a lot of gold. Okay, we still want to go for more elites, right? Elites instead of digging. One, two, three. Three elites. We can also dig, I guess, as well. Yeah, we can dig as well. That's a lot of damage. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Carter doesn't help that much, I know. Ooh, how am I gonna kill this guy without just like destroying my face? I think we just gotta destroy our face. Sometimes you just gotta destroy your face. Now this is another strike for perfection strike. But do we want to slow down on the offense? Is that a thing? Nah. Battle Trance. Toolbox. Smooth Stone. Battle Trance with Choker is awkward, but I mean, one Battle Trance is not bad in a deck. Do we like Smooth Stone? So the little block that we do play is a little bit better. See, I don't know what to do at this point, right? Because we, we have basically the deck, which is Perfected Strikes and some Pendib and some Necronomicon. So, maybe it's a deck that doesn't mind Mayhem. You know, you're not wrong. Until we get things that it does mind. Like, playing... Well, Mayhem plays Warwind for all your energy. You know what? Maybe we don't mind. Let's try Mayhem. It's just time to take the Fire Bring, the Mayhem, and all the other neglected... Outcast flies in the wall, put it together, the runic cube, and make a deck that they can be proud of. I still think we remove a strike and replace the strike that we added with the pommel strike we just added, right? Yeah, so you 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 keep your energy from Warwind. Man, well time to shine. You keep your energy from Warwind. So if you do mayhem on Warwind, it actually keeps the energy. Or maybe that was just Havoc. I don't know if Havoc and Mayhem are the same. I think you keep the energy of Whirlwind. But let's talk about Whirlwind and Thorny Boys. We've been there. I keep the energy, but I lose my I lose my whole life. So that's uh, something I'd be willing to trade. I'm going to save the gold here. I still think I'm going to take Enlightenment, even if there is some... So we can get rid of 
normality and we get gold. And the gold right now can be immediately spent at this shop. And then there's another shop that we can spend the gold on. Now, I wonder if I would take the parry after. That would have been max HP, which would have been quite nice, actually. The rare relic, what could we get? We can get... A lot of things. Chip, calipers, peace pipe. A lot of rare relics that maybe are not that useful for us. Whereas, okay, keeping the gold, getting the gold here... Yeah, we didn't take parry after, unfortunately, but... We can get rid of them in the interim right now, but we'll also just remove it and then go here and then spend more at the shop or act for shop. I think we should go this. Did we do double reaper now? Get out of here. Choker, no, you're hurting me, Choker. Are we doing Reaper now? No. Choker, no. Ow. Maybe I couldn't Reaper and I had to exhume the deck. I totally forgot about that. So, okay. Oh, I should have full blocks. What am I doing? They were actually killing me. So now I think we have to. I think we have to go for Reaper. Right? We have to go for Reaper. Now we have to go for Reaper. Okay, I could, still, I could just I could just die here by going for Reaper. But I'm, I'm taking the risk. Uh, of course, they're all blocking Sons of Guns. I could do Necronuckers and draw into Reaper, guaranteed. <laughs> that is a possibility. Is this like is this like the ultimate play? Draw, 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 find Reaper. Let's do this first. Choker, exactly. I know, I'm limited. So, we, if anything, we can leave up, like... That didn't cost Choker? That didn't cost Choker. Yo. Pog Shampoo. Yo! Okay, the only thing I want to do though is find Reaper, and I may not. And we don't, it's not like we have Penum either. But we have Block. One, two, three. Okay, so this is where it ends. I mean, I suppose we can do Defend and do it one more time? Damn. I mean, I could just end my turn away for they're not. For them not to be blocked. I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. Oh, but the Mayhem might hit something else. So the Mayhem here... Mayhem actually messes me up. I just pass. And we're gonna let... Reaper come to me... I'm going to reap all the benefits. What? The fuck? Why do you got to nerf my reaper like this? Okay, I'm going to do it though. I could have gotten more out of that. But hey, whatever. More pommel. Hmm. 
I think I could do one more. Yeah, I think I could do one more. You're right. But then I would draw that again next turn. No, oh, it'll go to my discard. Yeah, I could do one more. You're right. And then I would have gotten Reaper for sure. Which would have been like an extra 17 heal or something. Oh, well. If I die, then I'll... Then it means something. So Palm Strike is card drop, but also another strike for Perfect Strike. But I think Perfect Strike is beefy enough. At this point, we're trying... Like, how are we beating the heart? If at all. Well, the potential for Reaper to actually heal for more, though. I don't, I don't know if we're beating the heart, to be honest. Do we do, we do Palm Strike, though? Sure. Shop. Okay, well, a couple things is the Funeral Pain thing we just saw that doesn't take up Choker could be how we beat the heart. So we use our life as a resource, right? To get a lot of block with Funeral Pain, which doesn't take up Choker. And then we heal up with Reaper. So real quick. Okay, now if we remove Normality, I'm, we kind of just get rid of a Blue Candle and... It, I still want to remove it though, yeah. Right? Yes. We'll move one, in the least. Abacus is interesting. Is this how I'm cheating the game? Am I going to try to find a way to do like Abacus? So, let's say we get the deck down really small. Like, we, we, like, we take a Shrewd right now, we find a Burning Packs, we make the deck small. And then we use the Necronomicus, Funeral Pain, Shenanigans, Ruin a Cube, and just draw the whole deck and Abacus it out. Ah, I think that's that's too that's too complicated. But funeral pain number two seems okay though, because we are getting a lot of block from that. Okay, now another thing. Back rip's not bad. We can get a lot of thorns. Yes, I think damage mitigation is the most important thing. Damage mitigation is the most important thing. Um, so, Bomb, unfortunately, doesn't get doubled because of it's a, it's a skill and not an attack. And I think our damage is pretty okay. Like, I think Bomb is something you consider when you need more damage, when you have a deck that does a lot of blocking and does a lot of other kind of stuff. And the Bomb is like a welcome amount of damage with Hologram or whatever, usually. But here, the damage seems to be okay. We're going to do Dagger Prep, and then we're going to do... Do we care about having extra energy sometimes with attacks? I think with Choker, it's going to end up messing us up. But maybe there's a time where, because I'm doing Necronomicon, that one extra energy could be useful. I think Abacus is interesting. I mean, I'm thinking there is something with Runa Cube and Necronomicon, and like maybe I can make that work. Maybe I consider Abacus and Exhaust. I, I don't know. It doesn't seem worth it to take, though. I mean, six block randomly. Yeah, nine here to go, but here's the thing. There's another shop right here, and there's another shop in Act 4. So I have a shop here, and then another shop in Act 4. So I think, I think it could save my life. There's going to be two other shops. All right, so there's a shop here and a shop in Act 4. I feel like... I think we want to save it. Uh, do we like Discovery? Okay, I think we pass. I'm so conflicted what to take. We're gonna dig. Nice. Get out of here. All right, let's find vulnerable. Card draw. Card draw. Card draw. Card draw. Okay, let's play Mayhem. Funeral Pain, Fire Breathing. Card draw. Okay, I'm getting too greedy with the card draw now. But, um... What the hell? <laughs> Shit. Let us... Yeah, let's just pass. I double operate upgrade because I wanted to... I'll explain in a sec. Alright, so we got Offering into 
Shockwave. Bam Bam. Oh. Choker. Right. So we get me in the bone here. Calipers. Okay. Diggy, 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 diggy. Magic flower. Whoa. So now we can actually use Necronomicurse and then Reaper to heal up. That's actually a thing. No Kappa. No Kappa. Alright, let's do it. Please don't give me anything bad. Nice. Let's weaken you. Nice. Oh, wow, wonderful. What? Damn. I knew that was a thing. Uh, shh. This is a lot of damage, actually. Can we, like, not take this damage? Thank you. Me and the bone? No, not like this. Not like this. No curse. No curse. No curse. Uh, okay. Then hit me for the. Just hit me for all my life. Just, just fuck me up. That's not too bad. Maybe I find Reaper here. Whoa! Relax, mayhem. Relax. Okay, now I need to find Reaper. Yo, Trio baited me. Uh, this can replace itself with one card, right? <sighs> I replace itself with one card. Ah, oh, Reaper's not being found. Damn. Oh, Magic Flower, me and the bone. Perfect Strike Plus. Okay, now here's a dilemma. Here's a dilemma. That's Perfect Strike Plus, right? But I feel like we're good on damage, but that's a shrug it off, which... Fuck it. Smirk. I mean, we're just fighting everything, though. No problem. Hit the clothesline, come on. Not bad. Actually, not too bad. Me and the bone here? Check this out. Give me some block, baby. Just enough to get me me and the bone. Only I can hurt myself, you hear me? Okay, me and the bone. Dead branch! Whoa! Little did I know the way we we're gonna beat the heart is to just break the game with Dead Branch Corruption. Obviously. Obviously. You know, Professor Strike is just a cover, it's a front. I'm laundering for the real business. Did I skip it? Oh, I thought I skipped it for a second. Holy shit. Choker, though, you're right. Choker. Damn, Choker really does just mess us up. I still like True Grit, though. But what am I True Gritting? Choker does mess us up. Choker versus Dead Branch. What's going to be harder? What's going to be better? Actually, Dead Branch might be bad for my deck. Because if we're... If we're trying to do this whole Necronomicurse shenanigans with Funeral Pain and using our life as a resource and then healing up with Magic Flower and just trying to do 200 damage a turn, then maybe... Dead Branch just bloats me. It makes me not want it. I think Dead Branch might just bloat me. But okay. It's there. Whoa! But the game is trying to tell me something. Okay, game. I'll listen. But where are you taking me? Where are we going? So you see the choker, right? 
Hmm. Now I like the waffle. Mm-hmm. Lantern's interesting. Maybe double mayhem's the play here. I can see lantern, yeah. I think we have, a, we have enough gold for a lantern as well. Maybe even a double battle trend. Okay, maybe sentinel. Like sentinel works pretty well with more mayhem. No, no, no. I, Sentinel's not bad with the corruption, but it's pretty bad with choker. So we still have a lot of gold. I mean, I may not even have enough. Like, I may have too much for the next shop. Yeah. So you, there is a mod where you can sell your relics. So this would be a time to sell choker, right? Does you, pivoted to dead branch corruption. That would actually be kind of an interesting strategic point of view. Like, if you could re sell a relic, I think it would add a nice strategy to the game. Because right now, I got all the way through this with Perfected Strike, and now I can just sell the Choker and go Dead Branch Corruption. I, mean, I guess it's kind of broken. So, Elle is screaming out of her top of her You guys hear Elle? She's, is she having a party upstairs? What is she doing? Elle is, Elle is screaming out of her lungs. There, there is a, there is a, uh, yes. All right, let's finish this up quickly, guys, because this is probably the last one, and my doggy, he's, he's a power pooper. I mean, he's got, he's got to do something. One of the problems is it's raining outside, so when it's raining outside, he, it affects dog stuff. We talked about this before. We've talked about this. Come here, buddy. Okay. Okay, so what are we doing, guys? Uh, why am I so... <sighs> what am I doing here? Are we letting... May does Mayhem count for Choker? It does, right? Maybe another Battle Trance, though, because I... <sighs> Let's go. Let's just, just... Lose Choker. Thank you. Okay, so I can lose Defend. I think Defend... Okay, here's the thing, though. The defend is actually a skill with the corruption. But it's one of the worst cards in my deck. <sighs> What's up, Tiny Reptomancer? It's a me. Your worst nightmare. You see? I wasn't lying. That was an elite, by the way. Oh, Malbank, thank you. So, second wind is a interesting way to... Uh... Alright, I don't... I really wanted to end the run so I can take care of my doggy, but... I think second wind is a way to get rid of like burns and stuff, which I can't really do. Okay, I'm, ta I'm taking it. I actually, I, I like it. Worst case scenario, we can um, corruption it out of our life. That's weird. It's a weird click in my mouth. Like when I'm doing that, it's a click. Bum, 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 bum. Are you hearing the click? Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I'm taking the dog out voice. I'll, I'll wish you guys wait. Guys, you're going to have to wait again, all right? I apologize. I apologize. I'm taking him out because he's suffering. You guys are going to have to wait. I'm going to give you guys some... I'll be the foreplay right here. Thank you for being patient. Okay, so what's going on here? Are we, are we dying to this? Are we dying here? No, we're not dying, but okay. What are we doing in this fight? Weaken twice? Hmm. Ah, naturally. Are we smoking down her? Are we?
Come on, boys, relax. I thought about maybe doing Lunar Clap, but. We're playing Final Pain. As a one of. Lunar Clap was actually quite not bad either. Are we playing Final Pain, though? For corruption, eventually, maybe? Do we care about the damage we're taking when we have Reaper in our life? Maybe we don't care about the damage we're taking when we have Reaper in our life. This doesn't take up choker. I could I could block for I could block and draw because it Yes, no choker. So I mean technically And with calipers as my you know as a retainer, I mean the fact that it doesn't take up choker is amazing. I was thinking about something absurd. Like if I were to upgrade both fleet funeral paints, and I did that a lot of times on a turn he's not attacking. Then I could actually get a lot of block left over for his big attack. And if we happen to get lucky with digging or whatever from the elite fight and get um and get like Tori or self forming clay, then I think something interesting there. I know I should be attacking this man. Should be. But I want to get this thing out of the way. And I think we don't care about any of these. So this is a perfect opportunity to use the damn second win. Because we're not playing Mayhem in this fight. And I might play Limit Break. But I also might not. I forgot about Dead Ranch for a second. Okay. Anthony, yeah, we, we discovered some interesting stuff. I, I unironically took fire breathing. You had to be there. You had to just see fire breathing actually come to life. It was it was actually quite a good pick at the time. Now here we can do demon form and let it scale all the way up and the reaper just carry with magic flower. Oh no, Anthony, you're gonna choke you're gonna actually uh, patch out choker and necronomicurse. Oh shit, Anthony, you, you come after this run. Oh, you won't? Okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, it's just kind of interesting that we have a trigger, but we can play in Economic Curse infinitely with uh, the blue candle, which is kind of, I mean, it's, it's fun. Oh, wait, no, no, no. It's, no, it's not interesting. No, it's not interesting. No. It's a very weird deck. <clears throat> Voice crack. Oh, thank you, Fire Breathing. Yes. Are we doing it? I mean, are we ready to go? I don't know. We have Fiend Pink, we have Fiend Fire coming up. We have Fiend Fire coming up. Are you ready? Maybe I should have played Demon Form. So I messed up. Last turn I was supposed to exploit Nebuchadnezzar's and to get some block. And this is a lot of damage to take. We still have Reaper as a, as a way to do things, but maybe I should have played Demon Farm. Like if I get rid of all this, then I'm making Perfection Strike much worse. And then I think we're just really scared of dying. Okay. But maybe we're fine. Because that's a lot of damage, and then that's a lot of damage. But we're dying. So let's see something real quick. Was, was I supposed to use Corruption and Dark, like, Dead Branch, like, okay, I don't even have enough skills for Dead Branch and Corruption to be a thing. Are we getting rid of everything in our hand right now? 
Or how about this? We're getting rid of everything but Phenol Paint, and we're gonna try to find Necronomicers. Well, we could we could play them all, but we would die. So I'm not worried about playing them all. I'm, I'm worried about blocking. Yeah, I could play them all and then die. So I I could just play them all and then press abandon run. Same, same same concept. Or like in chess, we can move our pawn and then uh, resign. But I'm trying to save this. I'm trying to save this. Okay. But you know what? I respect Anthony. Anthony's prowess here. Okay. So Reaper is kind of nice. Reaper is kind of nice. That buys, that buys me time. For now. Play this. Play that. Play that. Weaken, almost forgot the weaken, and then block. I thought about Thunderclap first because I had Necronomicon, and you're totally right. Thunderclap first was much better. You're totally right. Yeah, I punted. You're actually so right. Because Necronomicon, I was going to double it anyways. I was trying to maintain Pendiv, but I think... Ne Necronomicon... I was trying to get the Pendiv because the Pendiv is ready, but maybe... Doubling is... I don't know. Mm, I don't know. It ends up being about the same math, right? Oh, so are we doing corruption now? Or are we trying to, like... Start smorking down? Because we do have a lot of damage. So, is this time to smork? The problem is, like, if I do corruption, then we do have, like... Block. Next turn, we've shrug it off a sentinel. Hey, come on, boys. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. I bought a new one, but I don't put the new one on the bed until I go to sleep because they, they destroyed this. Now I make sure they don't eat the new one. They destroyed this comforter, and I make sure they don't eat the new one. I put the new one away until I go to bed. I mean, I guess there's still buddy in this one, but I mean, it's, it's destroyed already. They're acting crazy. I was thinking about whether or not I'm going to do corruption or I'm trying to smork right now. Let's get this for Pendip coming up. Come on, boys, relax. Ah! Double perfected. Choker is a big deal. Choker is a massive deal right now. So the way we go around that is we do Necronomic Curse, Necronomic Curse. Um, Jesus. He's doing 42. So we use this a couple times. So we just get rid of this, maybe. And then we don't get to do Perfection Strike twice alongside a Body Slam. Which I really wanted to do. Maybe we just do Bash twice? If I do Bash twice, we're looking like close to Pendant Lethal with Perfect Strikes coming up. I forgot that we are going to get the weekend, so I could have done one less block. I could have done one less block there. Mm. But maybe we're just smirking down now. Perfect strikes. Shit, are we dead? Are we dead? Did I set myself up for f complete death? Let me see. 69. 69 is 100 and... Uh, 138 plus double this. So this is going to be 138 again. I think we just won. Okay, not even close. Can you guys relax? Okay, 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 okay. Phenol Pain is very good for this fight. Um, Perfection Strike twice. I suppose just start smoking now. Never look back. I want to do mayhem, but maybe, maybe it's not the time for mayhem here. 
So we determined that this doesn't get rid of Choker, right? So I can still draw safely. That doesn't mess up Choker. Which is quite nice. Because, for instance, I could do second wind here as opposed to doing... Like, like we want to do that. But maybe I could do second wind instead. Or maybe I could just play ghostly and do perfected. Let's do second wind here. It's fine, right? It's a decent block. Question is, do we want to draw more? Uh, I don't want to risk it. Let's just do that. Now, if we can spark Donu down, then we're, I guess we're pretty happy. Double Reaper's not bad either. Now, this is going to be 72 damage, AoE. It's not bad, but we can do better. That's quite a lot of damage, although it's not lethal, right? It's 92 damage. 102 damage. We should Reaper now. Get it out of the way. Sure. Why not? The guy's gonna die regardless. The man's gonna die regardless. You guys are actually out of control right now, guys. Reaper again, just for some more healing. This one doesn't even hit me. The Reaper doesn't hit me this time. But it does give me block. So it gives me 12 block. And then the fight's gonna be over next turn. Okay, let's do this. So I'm gonna start taking advantage of the beautiful combo. You've discovered. Although Dead Branch makes it a little bit less beautiful. But either way. Um let's do that. It'll exhaust itself. And here this way we get actually we have to get red skull this way. I need I'll block and uh, we already have full so we could technically just attack, but I want to say pendant. Nah, it's fine. The combo is a fantastic combo. So let's do corruption now then. And start going wild. Ish. And we just want to find our damn perfected strike. Okay, so like I want to do intimidate and then thunderclap. Choker really limits me here. Choker really limits me here. I see that being relevant for the for Deca when once I'm done with Dono. So this guy's dead. Now let's just one me one this guy. Come on, boys. Oh my god. You guys, please don't look at that. Jesus. Relax. Relax. Shh. Hey. Come on. Stop. See what we can get here. We we'll try to get like a that on top. Let's just do this. Bend him set up. It's not bad, right? I mean, we, yeah, let's just do that. Cool. 
close to lethal. Damn, with Infernal Blade it would be lethal. Oh, Necronomicon wasn't used. Okay, I was overthinking that, my bad. I was overthinking that. I said the heart. Okay, what are we doing with the heart? Alright, so we ended up with Dead Branch Corruption, alright? This was a Perfected Strike deck that was full sale Perfected Strike. We were worried about the heart, we just kind of went with it. And then we put crap in our relics, Perfected Strike is actually very strong. Hunt Elites like nobody's business. We also had Shovel. And now we're left with Dead Branch Corruption and a Perfected Strike Shell. And one thing we have going for us is Necronomicus, Funeral Pain with Runic Cube and also Blue Candle, which can actually outscale. Like I can block more than I'm losing, basically. So we're going to dig again. I mean, I was thinking about maybe upgrading Funeral Pain. I never took the second one, did I? Oh, one's already upgraded. So yeah, we're going to dig. I want to find Tori or Instance Burner or I want to manifest this. Tori, Instance Burner or the Self-Forming Clay. Okay, so we get Ice Cream and Disarm. Now, Disarm is very good. And Strange Spoon, which is... Maybe I let the Disarm stretch out to crazy, crazy heights. And also even use Reaper, right? So, like, Spoon can bring Reaper, which Reaper with Magic Flower is allowing me to use my life as a resource. And then Disarm is something I could utilize to just mitigate damage. And hopefully do it more than once. I think spinning with the Reaper and Disarm might be worth it, but yeah. There's also a thing like... Oh, Mulbank Valley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's also Ice Cream with Whirlwind or Ice Cream to... No, but I feel like Choker and Whirlwind, maybe it could be a 200 damage at some point, but that's the most it could ever be. Oh, a Third Mayhem. Shit. Disarm is a must. And I, I do think we like the spoon here with Disarm and Reaper. I wonder if at this point we kind of remove a strike. Or we take another Shockwave, because Shockwave is actually pretty good for removing artifacts. Spoon Dead Branch Corruption? I kinda, oh yeah, Spoon Dead Branch Corruption, you're right. Actually not awkward at all, because I have a limited amount of skills. So, oh well, but then they won't, ah, but then they won't get the dead branch. It would actually just go to discard and not do dead branch at that point. And then, if it doesn't exhaust, it doesn't give me the funeral pain. Wait, did I just, did I just prevent one of my main sources of block? Now, what happens if I do a Necro? Is Necro going to sometimes try to go to my discard? Did I just completely fuck myself over? Am I going to do Necro multiple times and it's going to do copies of my discard? Oh, I guess we're going to find out. We're about to find out how badly I messed up. We're going to have magic copies of Necronomicon in our discard. We're going to also gonna have skills not exhausting, which we feel pain is not going to get. Okay, well, GG. I should probably just science and not take the spoon here. Spoon just destroys everything. What? Anthony, is, is a Necro something confirmed? Either way, let's just roll with it. If that's what happens, that's what happens. I wonder if we want to do Funeral Pain opening hands. Since Funeral Pain is so important. Wait a minute. Why didn't it show me the option to upgrade this one? I had two Funeral Pains, it didn't show me the option to upgrade this one. Bottom Shinder doesn't seem worth it, right? Well, what are we doing instead? A second Shockwave? Draw Pot? Lock Pot. Oh, come on. Wait, don't we just, like, destroy this fight? Wait a minute. Isn't this fight just, like, a... Kind of a joke? Offering comes back. That's nice. We have 120 damage. 120 is not 135. So we need to add 15. 
I can't even I can't add 15 reliably. One, two, three. Oh, I get chokered out. Nah, that's awkward. I'm gonna test the spoon necro. Okay. Um So it just discarded itself. It didn't create a copy. But I guess it's kind of awkward because we were liking the ability to do it multiple times. But then we don't get the funeral pain stuff. Yeah. It it breaks the funeral pain thing we had going. It was bad. Oh well. I should have known. Oh, I do have lethal. The pen up should kill it. Pen up theoretically should kill this. So, like, shockwave double weaken, so I can guarantee the weaken. I guess we're dependent, but I guess I guarantee the weaken. Is that my best play? Pen up stacked. Get some block. I didn't want to pommel there because I didn't want to card draw. Oh, we can Reaper, right? But how likely is it for me to draw Reaper? I'm doing this because I want to get pen up stacked a little bit more. So this Thunderlabs actually is a weak and an vulnerable. Maybe it's not bad. Okay. Well, I think the fact that we lost our Necronomicon combo is very disheartening. But I'll carry on and we're gonna go ahead and just smork, smork, smork anyways. What else is a man to do? What did he give me? Hourglass? Hmm. Less than ideal. Ah, Shockwave came back, which... Yeah. It actually discarded. How nice. Am I feeling lucky? It actually did it. Thank you. So Dead Branch is saved. No, Spoon. You were working so beautifully. You were working so well, Spoon. Okay. Are we raging and then doing perfected, perfected? I think the spoon kind of destroys one of my some of my plans. I mean, at least here we have the ability to second wind the wound and the mayhem, which is a curse. So I'm happy about that. Problem is I want to play corruption. Now corruption, fifty percent should not exhaust. Maybe that's okay, but I still want to do second wind here. I want more Funeral Pain. Now, Funeral Pain is kind of bittersweet because it, like I said, may not exhaust. I'm getting rid of Offering, I know. Oh no, but when it's second win, it will guarantee exhaust, which is nice. Are we doing Anger? We're not doing Anger, are we? No. More second wins. Calipers. The thing. 
Double Bash, which also equals more weaken. Yes, let's get rid of pen let's get that gets rid of pendant, but I could get rid of fire breathing. I think I will. No, it doesn't want to get rid of itself. Oh no, Bernie Pack stays alive. So we can Reaper now. By Reaper now, I'm healing up quite a bit. And it may get it back with Exhum. Or it may just discard. And we also determined that a True Grip may... Like, if I do shrug it off, it may just discard, right? Okay, so there's a chance for it to discard. So I think it's still worth it to play, regardless. And our damage is going to end up being kind of nice, because Calipers is going to... So, this is when we disarm now, right? And now we try to go for damage. So, this is more weakened. This is also just... Like, I could do this, because, again... I'd rather do Perfection Strikes here. Bam. Repack stick came back again. Okay, so we, damage is something we, we pride ourselves on, so I should be doing damage, I think. Since he's vulnerable and all that stuff, we should just focus on doing damage, like bam bam. And bam bam again. Right? And then we just get rid of that stuff. And why not do Shockwave? Okay, so now we just gotta do the bam bam stuff multiple times. Do this on my pendant to assist it, so pendant's gonna be, for instance, I'm gonna cover the damage for this turn entirely. Now, what that we can do is do it purpose for the next turn because of calibers. Might as well do this, and just might as well do that. And the fact that this exhaustion is very nice because we're actually getting the final pain value which we wanted. And now we just need to bam bam one more time when we win. Bam bam, where you at? Oh, that came back. That's nice. Oh, we'll set up Pendant then. Ah, uh, Fetchrack should be lethal, but we'll, we'll set up some damage here. Oh. Let's do... Like I said, this could come back. Could, could come back. Okay, and then... Uh, Fetchrack should be lethal. I'm gonna draw into it. I lied. Okay, actually lethal next turn, right? So I think we just do Exhum and Reaper just to rub it in his face, and then we guarantee lethal next turn. Just rub it in. Just make him feel like crap. I got a Necronom Crush for free, by the way. GG! And that, my friends, is Perfected Strike. Defeating the heart. Spoon messing up as well. Crazy run. Wow. First this is actually a first. All me all my hours. I said all my hours. All of my hours and actually this is the first kind of deck. Very strange.